doing a simplified variation of an updo that we posted several years ago, and I will put a link to that one in case you didn't see it. But I'm going to start just by grabbing a section of hair and we're going to begin a regular French braid. I'm going to be starting this braid at about the crown of her head. I'm not going to start it clear up here. And this is just a regular French braid, so I'm splitting it into three, and then I'm going to be bringing the outside strands over the middle strand. And as I'm braiding, I'm going to bring in fairly large sections. This isn't really an intricate braid. So now that I've added in all of that hair to the French braid, I'm just going to do a regular braid to the bottom. And as I go, I'm just going to stretch out the edges to make this braid a little bit thicker. this braid stretched out to your liking you'll just want to add a clear elastic to the end and then the next part is going to kind of depend on the length of hair you're working with if you have hair about the same length as hers I'm just going to bring this up and around the top of the braid and then tuck the end back in here if your hair isn't quite that long you can bring it up and then bring the end kind of halfway through this braid and then if you have longer hair than hers you'll want to wrap it like all the way around so that'll just depend so I'm just going to get this kind of settled where I want it and then I'm going to pin it into place before I tuck the end in. You shouldn't need to use too many bobby pins here, maybe just a couple. Now that I have that pretty much pinned into place, I'm going to use my topsy tail to hide this end here. So I'm just going to run the end of that through the top of the topsy tail and then I'm going to stick this down just along the side of this braid and hopefully this end will disappear. So again, depending on the length of hair you're working with, you may have some ends sticking out the bottom here or it may just have disappeared. Either way, you'll want to pin this into place just so that it doesn't come out. I'm just going to take this and kind of tuck it in and then add some pins to make sure it doesn't fall out later. This elastic is showing, you can just kind of hide it the best you can and pin that in place as well. Here's the finished hair stuff. Be sure to check us out on Instagram at Hair For My Princess.